Wait, there it is, awesome. Now I can go and get my gelatin for free. To acquire the massive amount of coupons they need to score great deals, many extreme couponers spend thousands of dollars a year on newspapers. The North Carolina homemaker Desiree Young has a cheaper solution. If you want to save money, dumpster dive. My name is Desiree, and I'm addicted to couponing. I wish I had a coupon for everything in the world. I spent absolutely nothing for every product in here. It hurts me to pay for anything. For Desiree to put together deals for free products, she needs to collect massive amounts of coupons. And there is one place in her town that has a never-ending supply. All right, so I'm going to step inside the dumpster and see what I can find. Oh, MG. Ah! <laughs> Coupons to me are money, and you wouldn't believe how much money people throw away in those dumpsters. So this is an awesome, awesome coupon. These weekly coupon hunts have allowed Desiree to build a stockpile of over 2,400 household and grocery items, occupying her entire spare bedroom. This collection includes 45 bottles of dish soap, 105 deodorants, 125 bottles of hair and body wash, and 480 razors. The retail cost of all of these razors is close to $4,000, and I paid absolutely nothing for them. How could you beat diapers for 23 cents a box? I will never run out of deodorant and shampoo and body wash. I'm never gonna stink. <laughs> if I um, ever am pressed for space, that's when I will donate or tell my neighbor, come over and shop if I need more room. The ability to save an average of 90% on all of her groceries did not always come naturally to Desiree. I remember looking into coupons, and I was very overwhelmed. Well, then my son was born, and that's when we started living paycheck to paycheck. We would buy groceries and then have like $20 to live off of. And then when I started getting into coupons, people on online forms showed me that if I kept to it and dedicated to it, that I would start saving more and more money. There is a negative side. Of course, you're gonna have to put a lot of time and effort into it. I dedicate about 60 hours to couponing each week. With Desiree's couponing occupying more time than most jobs, the busy homemaker must keep a very tight daily schedule. On Monday from 9 to 11.30, I will be doing my online prep. I do check my website every hour just in case there's a new deal posted. On Tuesday from 2 to 6 p.m. is when I'll hit the recycling bins at the local school. And on Wednesday, I'll be doing more online prepping and ordering. On Thursdays from 9 to 1.30 a.m. is when I'll be doing my deal finding. Friday from about 12 to 5 p.m. is when I'll be doing major shopping. Getting Saturday, I'll be doing my binder clean out and getting rid of them. Then Sunday is when I'll be finding my papers. That is a 60-hour coupon week that is jam-packed full of prepping, organization, and shopping. Today, Desiree is shopping at her local supermarket's biggest sale of the year. And since her nonstop couponing means she rarely has time to socialize, Desiree is bringing her friend Blair along so they can catch up and she can help with a haul. I'm expecting my grocery bill to be over $1,000, and I would like to get it down to under $55. With six carts full, North Carolina homemaker Desiree Young is ready to check out on her biggest shopping trip ever. But because of her store's coupon policy, she will need to split her purchases into four separate transactions. I'm doing separate transactions because at this grocery store, you're only allowed to use 10 light coupons per order. I have more than 10, so I need to split it up so that my coupons will double. And the retail cost was $285. And I just spent $17.48. Three down, one to go. With the third transaction, Desiree's total has exceeded $20, almost half of the $55 limit she set for herself. With her largest transaction still to come, her nerves start to take over. I'm feeling a little stressed out. This is my last transaction. I don't want errors. I want to double check every single thing. All right, so I am at right now $493, so almost $500. There's no way. There's no way I'm going to pay $500. My total right now is $647. Let's see if I can get it down below $55. Could I scan your bonus card, please? Sure. Here you go. This is a very pressure moment for me. That's why I'm being calm and collective. And I was at 647, and now I'm at 539. Do you have right coupons now? on these yes. items? Let's start with this stack right here. 
Just as Desiree's total shrinks down to $364, the register locks up. What just happened? No more items allowed now. OK, we're going to have to uh, refer to our corporate office for just a second. Ron Dale's going to call and see what we need to do. I'm guessing that I hit my limit of how many items can be scanned. They're on the phone now trying to figure out what to do. My total right now is at $364. And so, yeah. I was stressed out. I thought it was my error. Here's probably going to be the easiest solution to this okay. problem. Um, is I'm going to cash out the total, which okay. is 364.42. Then we're going to have a clean slate. Okay. Then I'm going to scan the remainder of your coupons, okay. which will give us a cash total. We'll deduct that from your 364, and then that'll be your grand total. Sounds for this. totally good. To come up with a final tally, the manager will have to scan the coupons while the clerk keeps track of the total on an old-fashioned calculator. Any mistake in calculating the transaction could jeopardize the 60 hours of labor Desiree has put into the shopping trip. We're close, you guys. We're teetering. We're on the edge. We're almost there. I was stressed trying to figure out, OK, what is going to happen? Are we going to have to re-ring this whole order up? Am I going to have to separate my coupons? What is going on? Your total is 55 cents <laughs> for everything you bought. 55 cents. That's what your total is today, Desiree, 55 <laughs> cents. So that means today you would have spent a grand total of $1,077.66. But with all of your coupons, your grand total was $21.26. That's awesome. She saved a whole lot of money. I put my mission at 55 bucks, so I beat that. So I'm very proud of myself. I'm very excited. Desiree not only accomplished her mission, but scored a load of groceries that includes 20 boxes of toothpaste, 28 boxes of tissue, 45 boxes of cake and cookie mix, 59 packages of candy, and 96 bottled beverages, a retail value of $1,077.66. Her cost, just $21.26, a 98% savings. I'm addicted to couponing because the thrill that it gives me, it's a job, but I like doing it. If I didn't have coupons, we would probably be living paycheck to paycheck. We would not be where we are today.